It's week 16 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 111 Job 30 But now they make sport of me, those who are younger than I, whose fathers I would have disdained, to set with the dogs of my flock. What can I gain from the strength of their hands? All their vigor is gone. Through want and hard hunger they gnaw the dry and desolate ground. They pick mallow and the leaves of bushes, and to warm themselves the roots of broom. They are driven out from society. People shout after them as after a thief. In the gullies of wadis they must live, in holes in the ground and in the rocks. Among the bushes they bray, under the nettles they huddle together, a senseless, disreputable brood. They've been whipped out of the land. And now they mock me in song, I'm a byword to them. They abhor me, they keep aloof from me. They do not hesitate to spit at the sight of me. Because God has loosed my bowstring and humbled me, they have cast off restraint in my presence. On my right hand, the rabble rise up, they send me sprawling and build roads for my ruin. They break up my path. They promote my calamity. No one restrains them. As through a wide breach they come, amid the crash they roll on. Terrors are turned upon me. My honor is pursued as by the wind, and my prosperity has passed away like a cloud. And now my soul is poured out within me. Days of affliction have taken hold of me. The night racks my bones, and the pain that gnaws me takes no rest. With violence he seizes my garment. He grasps me by the collar of my tunic. He has cast me into the mire, and I have become like dust and ashes. I cry to you, and you do not answer me. I stand, and you merely look at me. You have turned cruel to me. With the might of your hand you persecute me. You lift me up on the wind, you make me ride on it, and you toss me about in the roar of the storm. I know that you will bring me to death and to the house appointed for all living. Surely one does not turn against the needy, when in disaster they cry for help. Did I not weep for those whose day was hard? Was not my soul grieved for the poor? But when I looked for good, evil came, and when I waited for life, darkness came. My inward parts are in turmoil and never still. Days of affliction come to meet me. I go about in sunless gloom. I stand up in the assembly and cry for help. I'm a brother of jackals and a companion of ostriches. My skin turns black and falls from me. My bones burn with heat. My lyre is turned to mourning and my pipe to the voice of those who weep. Proverbs 21. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. All deeds are right in the sight of the doer, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. The violence of the wicked will sweep them away because they refuse to do what is just. The way of the guilty is crooked, but the conduct of the pure is right. It is better to live in a corner of the housetop than in a house shared with a contentious wife. The souls of the wicked desire evil. Their neighbors find no mercy in their eyes. When a scoffer is punished, the simple become wiser. When the wise are instructed, they increase in knowledge. The righteous one observes the house of the wicked. He casts the wicked down to ruin. If you close your ear to the cry of the poor, you will cry out and not be heard. A gift in secret averts anger, and a concealed bribe in the bosom strong wrath. When justice is done, it is a joy to the righteous, but dismay to evildoers. Whoever wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. Whoever loves pleasure will suffer want. Whoever loves wine and oil will not be rich. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous and the faithless for the upright. 
it is better to live in a desert land than with a contentious and fretful wife. Precious treasure remains in the house of the wise, but the fool devours it. Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life and honor. One wise person went up against a city of warriors and brought down the stronghold in which they trusted. To watch over mouth and tongue is to keep out of trouble. The proud, haughty person named Scoffer acts with arrogant pride. The craving of the lazy person is fatal, for lazy hands refuse to labor. All day long the wicked covet, but the righteous give and do not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more when brought with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but a good listener will testify successfully. The wicked put on a bold face, but the upright give thought to their ways. No wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. And as always, I appreciate you being here and make sure to hit that subscribe button right there if you haven't already and click the bell so you get notifications when there's a new video. And I will see you tomorrow. I know Maranatha. You'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue. Need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord. It glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to live.